So in Savage Strike, we are getting a new archetype by the name of Time Thief, a rank 4 focus archetype revolved around the idea of longevity and having different types of material attached to your Xyz monsters. What I mean by different types of material is a monster material, a spell material, and a trap material. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Time Thieves and why actually I think Time Thieves are shockingly good and have quite a lot of potential to be set up to be a really good archetype so <laughs> i'm recording this at like five in the morning so if you're wondering why my voice sounds like this <laughs> that's why anyways so to start i want to start by talking about the rescue rabbit of the deck time thief regulator it is a level four dark machine effect monster with 600 attack 200 defense and the following effect if you control no other monsters you contribute this card special summon two time thief monsters with different names from your deck in defense position except Time Thief Regulator. When an Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effective Time Thief Regulator once per turn. So, it's basically a rescue rabbit. I'm not gonna lie, that's honestly quite crazy. You don't typically see archetypes get rescue rabbits, and why this is so just mind-boggling is because it's a one card rank 4. The thing is, with Rescue Rabbit as an example, Rescue Rabbit summons normal monsters from the deck. And obviously, that's a one card rank for, okay, normal monsters are great and all. But the difference is, these are effect monsters you're summoning off of Time Thief Regulators. So they're actually going to have effects. And oh man, did the two other level four monsters not disappoint. Time Thief Winder is a level four dark psychic effect monster with 1800 attack 1300 defense and the following effect you can detach one material from an Xyz monster you control special summon this card from your hand if this card is normal summoned or special summon you add one time thief card from your deck to your hand except time thief winder you can only use each effect of time thief winder once per turn so this deck got a stratus which is honestly again like really good just in general it gets a rescue rabbit it gets a stratos those are generically good cards cards to have in an archetype. But it gets even better because Winder, if you already have pre-established setup with a rank 4 or any Xyz monster for that matter, because remember it just says detach one material from an Xyz monster, meaning it could be any Xyz monster that you've already set up. This means you can special summon Time Thief Winder from your hand. One good way of playing Time Thieves right now is, well, technically with Zodiacs. At least the idea is, because you already have pre-established material with the zodiacs from one card and it doesn't require your normal summon you can use zodiacs set up a chalcanine and then detach special and then you can use chalcanine effect in order to bring back a zodiac from grave and from there you can use those two for a link monster but i think there's a card you definitely need to play in time thieves as of right now which i'll get to in a little bit so i think time thief winder is actually kind of crazy i mean obviously you're not always going to use the special summon effect and special summon search but when you do get to special summon search this card becomes a million times better one crazy thing i want to note as well is time thief winder kind of adds longevity to the deck and just one of my main points in general is this deck has quite a good grind game if you haven't noticed for example if you activate regulator effect special summoning a winder and a bezel ship from the deck i'll get to bezel ship in a second winder can get you a search for another regulator and so from there you've have set up for the following turn and you have rank 4 access right there or winder can search the trap which i'll again i'll get to in a little bit so we have an in theme rescue rabbit and an in theme stratus next we have bezel ship and bezel ship's kind of weird let me just read its effect so you can understand what it does it is a level 4 dark machine effect monster with a thousand attack 2000 defense and the following effect quick effect you contribute this card then target one time thief Xyz monster you control, attach one card from your opponent's graveyard to that monster as material. If this card is in the graveyard, you can detach one material from an Xyz monster you control, special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of Time Thief Bezel Ship once per turn. So Bezel Ship is good 
as you're going. So for example, bezel ship is really good because if you're summoning a rank four and then you detach bezel ship, you can revive the bezel ship by detaching a material. So it's basically time thief winder special summon effect, except it special summons itself from grave. Obviously you don't necessarily want to draw this all the time, but it's still really powerful just being able to bring it back for another exceeds material just for free. So this is actually a really cool archetype. Just like these three monsters are very powerful and set up quite a good interesting amount of potential for this archetype. But then obviously it's an Xyz archetype. So if we were going into the set not having an Xyz monster, that would be kind of weird. So we have Time Thief Redoer. Time Thief Redoer is a rank four dark psychic effect monster with 2400 attack, 2000 defense. It requires two level four monsters and it has the following effect. Once per turn during the standby phase, you can attach the top card of your opponent's deck to this card as material. Quick effect, you can detach up to three different types of material from this card, then apply the following effects depending on what was detached. Monster, banish this card until the end phase. Spell, draw one card, and slash or trap, place one face up card your opponent controls on top of the deck. You can only use this effect to time thief redoer once per turn. So, Time Thief Redoer is very interesting. It will give itself material from the top of your opponent's deck. So, for example, if you're playing against Sky Striker, expect to see that spell effect of drawing a card more. If you're playing against Altergeist, expect to see that trap effect more. And honestly, the trap effect is definitely the best effect, but I'll get to how to use that trap effect better in a second. Because remember, the trap effect is a disruption, and you definitely want to have that in an archetype with no other source of disruption. So I'll get to how you use the trap effect in a second. And then the monster effect, it's banish this card until the end phase. And honestly, this isn't necessarily the greatest effect. I mean, obviously it's not bad. It's definitely a wind up rabbit, but it's definitely not bad. But at the same time, you'd probably want a more productive use of that monster material because when you banish it, you're losing all of its materials. And that just really is unfortunate. There are obviously ways of putting material on it and so it's not necessarily the worst thing if you're playing it in the extra monster zone it can get it out of the extra monster zone which is a nice factor but redoer is definitely the focus of this deck and you do want to turbo out redoer just because it's very good for this archetype you can also turbo out all their rank fours with the time thief monsters or you can play time thief redoer in another deck which i'll get to in a second but spoiler alert is dark warrior you can play play Time Thief 3 Doer in other decks, or you could play the Time Thief main deck monsters in other decks. So there's versatility in what you do. I think these cards are shockingly good. I was not expecting to get, I thought we were getting way more danger support, but you know what? I'm happy we didn't get more danger support. We just, it, it, it's enough Konami with the danger support. But anyways, we have Time Thief hack, which I don't even want to get into this card because it's just so gosh darn awful. Basically it's exceed so many protection on the turn they're summoned and it's an attack boost on a continuous spell time thief hack is absolutely horrible and the only reason you'd ever consider running it is because of time thief flyback now time thief flyback is a normal trap card with the following effect target one time thief exceeds monster you control attach one time thief card from your hand or deck to it as material you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one time thief exceeds monster you control attach one card from your opponent's graveyard to it as material you can only use one time thief flyback effect per turn and only once that turn so time thief flyback is actually really good so basically it attaches another time thief flyback from deck so you can have that disruption effect you can also attach time thief hack in order to draw with a spell so you definitely have versatility in what you do with flyback it's also very easily accessible because regulator is a one card time thief redoer with time thief flyback you basically go regulator effect special two from deck and then you go winder effect search flyback and then overlay for doer and then on your opponent's turn you go flyback effect so basically that's how you pull off just an 
easy disruption combo with one card. So one other thing I want to note is the second effect, which is actually incredible. Basically, it's a DD Crow for the archetype, if you think about it. If you have an Xyz monster on the field, which, I mean, a Time Thief Xyz monster, basically, you can DD Crow any card in your opponent's grave, but what makes it so good is you can attach it to your Xyz monster. So this doesn't even need to be, well, a DD Crow. If your opponent has a spell card in the graveyard, you can attach it if you need to get another draw. This card can also be some sort of way to put a trap as material. I think the second effect is actually really crazy and just really good in general because most decks will be playing spells. For example, even Altergeist, which is a trap dot deck, is playing spell cards. For example, cards like Pot of Indulgence. And so even then as well, Time Thief Redoer is just very sticky because it will keep banishing itself until the end phase, making it hard to deal with just like wind a rabbit back in the day there are ways of dealing with it obviously but this is my point as to this card actually provides a lot of utility with the second effect now unfortunately you can only use each effect once per turn but in the end i still think this effect is really good i definitely think time thief flyback is will be important in the future for a more pure variant however there's also another card that will be important just in general for the archetype that isn't a time thief card because those were all six time thief cards in savage strike next what i want to talk about is the synergy these cards have with other archetypes so to start time thieves are incredible incredible with bard so the reason why they're so good with bard it's probably the best synergy this deck has and fortunately all the time thieves are dark so that's a saving grace but basically the reason why time thieves want to get, get access to bard is because it can get access to shade brigandine so easily the idea is Shade Brigandine is another level 4 for an Xyz monster. However, the difference is, under Time Thief Redoer, it will be treated as a trap card because it summons itself as a trap monster. But obviously, you can use Shade Brigandine on your turn. And so that's why Bard becomes so powerful and you just want to turbo it out every turn before you summon Time Thief Redoer. Another important interaction with this card is with Bard again. So so for example, because you're banishing it during your end phase, then you'll have no materials on it, and so this deck can very easily summon Azathoth on your opponent's turn. Azathoth on your opponent's turn is way better than you'd think. Just in general, the idea that you can go ahead and stop all of your opponent's monster effects is really, really good. So I definitely think there is heavy synergy with Bard and this archetype, and I really think the best way to play Time Thieves right now is either play them as engines in separate decks or play them as a deck with Bard in it and Phantom Knights. However, you can also play the Xyz monster in something like Dark Warrior. So with Bard, you can have versatility now. Well, you could have versatility before with the Evil Swarm Xyz monster that I could detach to. And so if you couldn't make Rongo, you could just make the Evil Swarm level four. But now we have an alternate way of making as a thought. And we just have another utility card dark warrior could be using because time thief is a generic rank four and that's really good just in general for its playability in other decks it's actually just a really good card in general and i think with the synergy it has with shade brigandine that this archetype is looking to be very promising considering how powerful of a first set i really feel it has honestly i don't see this deck being able to be played as a pure version i think we need more cards in the deck but before we can really play a pure version. But again, with the Phantom Knights and some other Dark Enablers, you can definitely play some sort of hybrid. Obviously, Dark Warrior uses Bard as well, and it summons Rongo. But I like where this deck is heading and looks to be a good slash relevant deck post Dark Neostorm when we get the other six cards for the archetype. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed! If you want to support me further than just watching my YouTube videos, go down into the description and support me on Patreon, it helps out quite immensely. As well, if you guys want to talk to me further than just my YouTube comments section, go down into the description and join my Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, I hope to see you soon.